Chat GPT. Chat GPT. Chat GPT. Chat GPT. Chat GPT. Chat GPT. Blockbuster shakeup in the world of artificial intelligence. OpenAI CEO Sam Altman is joining Microsoft. Now I'm sure you've heard by now what Chat GPT is, but in case you didn't know what the technical term is, let me share it with you. ChatGPT is a language model designed by OpenAI. It uses machine learning to generate human-like responses on the input it receives. Think about it like your personal assistant, but on steroids. But your personal assistant was only designed to do things like this. Hey Siri, why is the sky blue? During the day, the sky looks blue because it's the blue light that gets scattered the most. It's redirected into many different directions all over the sky, whereas the other wavelengths aren't scattered as much. Hey Siri, but why? I found some web results. I can show them if you ask again from your iPhone. Hey Siri, but why? I found some web results. I can show them if you ask again from your iPhone. You see what I mean? Now in order for this to be fair, I have to ask ChatGPT the exact same question. Now, given the current state of technology, it's important to examine the potential impact, both positive and negative, for tools like ChatGPT. So, I made some calls to some regular everyday people and I asked them, How do you feel about your kid using AI tools like ChatGPT? AI is becoming the new normal. I, myself as a parent, try to not let her be exposed to that so much because I know in the future she's going to be exposed to it more mm -hmm. and I want her to have a mind of her own. I don't want her to just be able to just to say, oh, it'll answer it for me. I don't like it, but if it's a resort that they can use when the teacher's not helping them, maybe just a little bit, I think under supervision, maybe. No, depending on what he does, uh, I mean, it can either help him or it can hinder him. I know growing up, when I used to take like tests and, and quizzes and stuff. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We had like, I don't know, Quizlet. So you know what I'm saying? We could just Google the answer. But with AI, we're gonna be able to like Google a lot more. That's basically like us now using Google. Like, oh, I don't know the answer. Let me Google it. Correct. Let me Google it. So I, I don't want her, it's like now for Christmas. She wants this little uh, Miko something. It's like an AI robot yeah. friend. Yeah. Girl, get yeah. you have real friends. If the parent can't explain a problem, because you know, some kids like, you know, our child, they're in an AP school and some of the math and chemistry and pre-cal, we couldn't understand it and we could like use chat GBT. We can literally ask it anything and it's gonna give me an answer. So I feel like that's gonna hinder a lot of kids from developing their own answers and ideas because yeah. you can literally, can you write me an essay on this and it'll do it for you. They should actually do the work to, to understand it because then they don't want to look like a fool. I show up to a job and I'm like, what do I do? Because AI have helped you like the whole way kind of thing. And you didn't retain anything. You seen that movie yet? The Creator? I don't know. I, but it's now with, you made um, me watch it tonight. Yes, you have to watch it. It's with Denzel's Washington's son, but it's talking uh -huh. about like that exact thing about like this kid that was an AI. She's like the future and like the humans and the AI are like going back and forth because the AI basically destroyed the world because they was just too smart. And now humans are AI is at war interesting but what's also interesting is 40 percent of school-age children don't have access to education in a language they understand if all students had basic literacy skills 171 million people could escape extreme poverty is that extreme to say who knows but what i do know is 67 percent of fourth graders in the united states can't read below their grade level now when i asked ChatGPT what it could do for kids it told me it could assist kids with language barriers by providing a supportive platform for language development. Through interactive conversations, ChatGBT can help kids practice vocabulary, grammar, and sentence construction, fostering a better understanding of the language. It offers a safe and non-judgmental space for kids to express themselves, boosting their confidence in communication. Additionally, ChatGBT can adapt to different language levels, tailoring interactions to meet individual needs and gradually assisting in overcoming language barriers. I want to highlight that there's always going to be a disagreement when it comes to new technology. 
It's subjective. When it comes to tools and softwares, there's no one size fits all scenario. But there's a real chance our children can become dependent on AI for communication. Just imagine if kids were allowed to use AI freely in school. How would this impact their ability to think for themselves, to learn for themselves? Could they become so dependent on it that the importance of learning just becomes obsolete? It's something to think about. So mommy tells me you know about AI. Yeah, it's a kind of robot. What do you think about it? I want an AI. You want an AI? <laughs> so I can do all my toys. A personal assistant AI, that's what you want. Uh, I think so. Bye. Bye-bye.